the last global first that we received was str ui goku back in may of 2020 which means that this upcoming may will make or mark two years since we've seen a global first unit and this personally raises some concerns to me uh, be, but you know before we dive deep into this with all these tabs i have open let me just get the subscriber challenge out of the way so if you believe and only subscribe if you believe that global and jp should just finally catch up with each other there should be no discrepancy between both versions if that's what you agree with you got to subscribe to the channel right now i caught you lacking in your own thoughts i don't know what to tell you but if you disagree with that statement if you think global and jp should stay separate which is what i personally agree with um then i will let you skip the subscriber challenge today but i will catch you lacking in the next one so stay tuned for that let's hop straight into this video so let me just explain really quickly the way global first units work global first only drop we've only seen them drop from my understanding in the months of may and the months of december which is why every single time may it rolls around like you know we hear talk of global first whenever december rolls around you see videos even i did videos talking about global first let me just prove that to you really quickly so i believe the first global first unit was lrstr broly i could be wrong and i'm talking about again summonable not like free to play i think lrstr vegito was like a, a, a global first but he's free to play and i remember like physical vegeta blue was a, was a global first eza but not an actual global first unit so i'm just talking about summonable units here anyways lrstr broly dropped may 2nd of 2017 then next i believe it was tech hit uh who dropped one year later but then a few a few months later a few months and a year later um in december 24th of 2018 uh, which was, you know, pretty cool, even though he sucked at that time. Um, and then we had uh, LR Go Bros. Now, LR Go Bros, dude, the month, the year of 2019 was actually crazy because Global got back to back Global first. We got Go Bros on, on the 8th of May, 2019. And then, like two weeks later, we got LR tech broly again a global first and as you guys can see uh the lr dropped basically two months later uh for jp so global was really eating good during this time and then after this we saw um super saiyan blue cock and goku um so again three global first just in one year and then after that we got str ui goku then the fifth anniversary rolled around and we haven't seen a global first since now personally this concerns me only because i actually like global first units now i know that global first units tend to cause some issues like sometimes um celebration issues just won't like celebrations won't have ezas or like they change the way the or they change the order of certain things global can get very messy at times when global first comes through and that's and i understand that and i know it, it pisses people off like crazy personally from my perspective I don't expect much from Global Dokkan anyways, so it doesn't really bother me as much as other people, but I can definitely understand if, if you know, like, dude, Fizzle Kefla not having an easy on Global right now is definitely upsetting a lot of people. I was already going into it thinking that we're not going to get it, so it doesn't really bother me too much, but again, if you are pissed off about that, you are 100% in the right, and I understand that. But I like Global First students because, dude, it, it adds a layer of, like, um... And this is why I want to talk about this, right? It adds a layer of like heightness or adds a layer of like unexpectedness when it comes to global because global is all about being behind JP, right? We know what's coming to J or we know what's coming to global because we, we see it happening on JP. But dude, during the months of May and the months of December, we always get excited because it's like, okay, there could possibly be a global first. But dude, the last um, May of 2021, we got nothing, right? December of 2020 we got nothing december of this month this december we actually you know we got no global first and i before people even say tech lr gohan is not the super saiyan 2 gohan um that dropped after bojack it's not a global first because they dropped on both global and jp at the same time we're talking about units that dropped on global first and then jp later as the dates right here suggest so just um keep that in mind right now what this makes me feel like um on top of everything else is I feel like global and jp are slowly trying to catch up and uh, i have evidence here i want to pull up for you guys really quickly but i'm just honestly against that uh, when it comes to dude like i like personally my own one of the biggest reasons why i like staying behind um jp you know even if it's a few days a few weeks a few months it's just i since i'm not someone who wails out consistently i like to know what to save my stones for that's why i think global is such a 
a great version for free-to-play players because dude could you imagine could you imagine having this hit come out and really liking hit and then you go 1000 stones deep for hit and then they drop str ui goku right after that on jp now you have no stones and you're free to play could you could you imagine how pissed off you'd be but on global dokkan we can see that so hit drops I'm going to skip it because I know this chat is coming next, right? I think that's just one of the beautiful things about Global Dokkan. And yes, I know that Global has been changing things up recently. But even if it's a month ahead, if, if, if I can see a unit is coming a month ahead of time, two months, it still gives me time to save rather than just having units come out of nowhere, right? So that's just, you know, what I believe. Again, you can disagree. Um, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying you're wrong. Um, we again we can coexist with different opinions, but let me show you guys this real quick, right? I personally don't remember and you guys can let me know in the comment section below But I don't remember the last time a unit dropped on JP and came out two months later For global doke. I I when I'm tr when I try to think about it. I actually can't recall um, I, I I don't know it's usually been three four five months um, in between units release our unit unit releases on both JP and Global Dokkan, right? And the reason why this concerns me is because, dude, like, if I take the same unit, the same time slot unit last year, which was uh, Vegeta, or sorry, not Vegeta, Frieza here, uh, Frieza dropped on October 5th, same time as Kaelin Khalifa last year, but it took Global three months to get the unit. So November, December, then January, right? So it took three months for Global, but here it took two months. If we take it one year further, or yeah, one year back in time, JP got to this chat right here on October, basically the same time slot as Kaelin Khalifa and Frieza, but Global got this unit four months later. So we go from four months to three months to two months. Like, is next again next year it's not going to be one month because next year we we share heroes and stuff like that right and i guess you could you you can actually very fairly say if i actually pull up pure saiyans here you can say okay mr baby what about um scr super vegeta right where's scr super vegeta's uh where, where is his ass at? hold up he should be here somewhere you can say okay but mr baby what about scr super vegeta though because super vegeta here dropped back in freaking july of jp and we still haven't received him and this is just you know the thing with the global dokkan you're absolutely right like you make an amazing point um scr super vegeta is one of those weird cases on global where they just continue pushing him back um because a bunch of other things are happening in global dokkan we have heroes that we share dude we're sharing heroes um we're sharing we also just shared golden week too like we've never shared golden week with J golden week is a jp celebration only right the gt units that we shared with Glo with jp recently that's that's golden week we've never shared golden week before but now we're sharing golden week now we're sharing heroes and now we're sharing worldwide celebration so not not only are unit d uh, dates getting closer and closer and closer but we're starting to share slowly more celebrations we just started sharing um uh heroes the, the hero celebration for the last two years remember that the super saiyan fours i believe are the i yeah i think the super saiyan fours were the first celebration we shared with jp and then obviously uh last year or this year we got the same heroes units as jp um and then golden week dropped and then we shared golden week as well so it's like we're sharing more units are getting closer no more global first which again global first do put a dent in the timeline global first make it harder for global and jp to catch up so honestly it seems like they're trying to make global and j and jp catch up which i am not a fan of um uh, maybe they're just trying to keep them at least two three months apart instead of you know a crazy uh i don't know uh four five six months apart as you guys know the anniversary for jp is in january global is february march april may june july so it's six months away and would they change would they really change um the schedule or the, the anniversary for global token i don't know what would you guys think about that do you guys think it's possible let me actually just pull up um fierce battle here would you guys say um it's okay or it's like would you be okay with this let me know what you guys think okay would you be okay with sharing an anniversary with JP Dokkan in January? And then JP and, and Global also sharing another anniversary or Global's anniversary in July. So it's like Global and JP, right, are sharing anniversary, JP's anniversary, and Global's anniversary, also Golden Week. 
as well as um you know the uh download celebration which happens late august into september and then we also share heroes as well like i feel like i feel like at that point man i don't know and then and then every all the all, all like the months in between we just get like different dokkan fest and stuff right so like let's say for example um oh we also share saiyan day two right dude like that's what i'm saying like i don't know man i feel like <sighs> let me know what you guys think I, this is kind of worrying me um again because i just like i i like global because you know it's it's a b behind i get to see what's coming um i don't really have to worry about when to save my stones when should i summon what's coming next i just like being able to see also like being able to freaking read too let's be honest but also like the discounts and stuff like global as much as as much as the shaft that global receives i feel like it's not as bad as a version as people really give it credit for but if you think global is just a, a, the worst version of the game like i can't fault you for that either like i understand your thinking i think that the only thing jp really has over global is that jp gets things first like what other benefit does jp have for like unless you unless you speak japanese or read japanese um what other benefit does jp really offer um besides getting things first I, you know i think global um being able to have like the discount dude global has dropped so many discounts for doe contest that jp did not receive you know also I, okay i will say world tournament last two days on jp where it does on global so for that i'll give that a dub sure whatever but um i, I think the tickets the discounts are absolutely insane I forgot what Dokkan. Again, also like the ticket packs that we get as well. Being able to see what's coming, being able to actually read the game. I just feel like Global is just a, the better version um, in terms of like free to play and like awareness and stuff. But again, if you value get, getting units first, like if you don't care about Global first or you value getting units first, then obviously JP is going to be better for you or you like JP more, which again, I'm not here to tell you you're wrong or that I'm right. Again, we can coexist with different opinions. So let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think this is the end for Global First? Do you think Global and JP are finally catching up? Uh, let me know your honest opinions in the comment section below. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care and thank you for spending some time with me today.